It's Confident Computing number 838. How do I back up before a Windows 10 update? Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing. If you're not a subscriber, if you're not getting it via email, visit askleo.com slash newsletter to get it in your inbox every Tuesday. And if you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button below this video or visit askleo.com slash YouTube. So, Windows 10 updates, you know, they're, they have a bad rep, they really do. And I suppose some of it's deserved, but the pragmatic reality is that for most people, Windows 10 updates are just fine. They really do just work. However, they're not perfect. And unfortunately, that means that you really should still protect yourself. There's no telling when a Windows update or if a Windows update is gonna have any kind of an adverse impact on your specific machine. It's unlikely, but it can happen. And it has happened to some people. So the best way to do that, well, that's what this week's featured article is all about. How do I back up before a Windows 10 update? I talk about what, where, when, and why, and how, and all those questions. And I point out that it's very possible you may not need to do a thing if you've got a proper backup strategy in place already. Also this week, you know, speaking of backing up, what program should I use? There are so many choices and there are so many ways to back up. I go over some of the things that you need to think about when you make the choice of how to back up your important data or your machine. And of course, I include my recommendation and a pointer to the articles that'll show you how to do exactly that. Remote access, it's incredibly convenient. It's incredibly dangerous. Those are two sides of a very interesting coin. It's a very powerful tool that can allow other people to help you or you to help others. I use it myself extensively, but as with most tools, when they're used in the hands of people who would do you harm, they actually can cause quite a bit of damage. Speaking of damage, how careful are you about installing browser extensions? Do you think about the fact that Actually, browser extensions can watch everything you're doing in the browser if they want to. It's an important thing to understand and to realize, and maybe think twice before installing that very lucrative, whatever it is, browser extension. And finally this week, this is frustrating to me. And obviously it's a tongue in cheek article, kind of, but I try to make a point. The one step way to lose your account forever. I mean, seriously, if you want to lose your account forever, I'll show you how to do it. It's not that hard. I hear from people who are in this situation every day. What I really want you to do is pay close attention to this article, to the things that it talks about, and take steps to protect yourself so that you don't lose your account forever. No TEH podcast this week. Life kind of happened, so we sort of skipped it. I hope you found something interesting in this week's newsletter. As always, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for subscribing if you are a subscriber. And I will see you here again next week. Take care.